Rocket Frog is a newcomer to the area, having only been open for about five months at the time of this video's release. However, they've already won a bronze medal for their Wallops Island Brown Ale at the 2018 Great American Beer Festival, which in itself is extremely impressive. The name comes from the infamous frog that was photographed being blasted off into the stratosphere by a Lady Rocket launch in 2013. The picture circled the internet for months. I'll post a link to the article in the description below. The brew house is home to a 15 BBL system that's likely to expand in the future. Currently they're gearing up for a canning system and we expect to see some distribution in our area quite soon. Overall, we really like this space theme and they took it to new heights with the time they put into branding their business. It really shows the dedication that they've invested. Okay, well let's hitch a rocket ride onto some of these beers. Hey guys, Andy and Sandra back again with another brew review. This weekend we're taking a look at Rocket Frog. This is a super cool brewery with an excellent theme. I wore my space t-shirt, <laughs> I got my watch on. So let's taste some beers. We've got six beers today. Um, and we're gonna start with the brown ale. Yeah, it's uh, called Wallops Island. And it comes in at 5.3%. And it just recently won a 2018 Great American Beer Festival Award. Super excellent, guys. Mm, it smells roasty. That body is fantastic. Ooh, yeah, that's super good. I do love me a good brown ale. Mmm, damn. I can, I can see why I won now. Yeah. Wow. Super roasty, malty. Oh, look at that color. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this color up. It almost has I mean, a reddish hue yeah, to it. Yeah, it's got this plumminess to it that is really gorgeous. I don't know. Wow. Yes. It does have this slight bitterness to it. Yes. Um, that is just it complements the beer so well. I get kind of a, like a toffee note to it. Yeah, and there's some caramel notes in there and some chocolate notes, and there's a bit of bitterness from, a, a bit of piney, piney and citrusiness. Mm, man, I love brown ales, and I'm like, this is such a good brown ale. Maybe they'll uh, start distributing Soon, this I hope. in like cans, and they'll uh, yeah, this Yeah, I would buy this stores. on a consistent basis, no problem. Yeah, four and a half for me. That's that's an awesome beer. Yeah, same beer. Drinks a little more though. And I've never had a brown ale where it kind of stands out from the crowd. This brown ale definitely stands out. You're right. Sure. It tastes like nothing else that, that I've, I've ever had. had yeah. Um, it's. I and mean, then if, that's not in a weird way. Like it's weird. So no, no, that's in like it's a really well made yeah. brown ale, and that's why it's, it's different really from good. what we've ever tried. It's really good. Yeah. And I think the story goes that this is only the first few incarnations that they've made of this beer. Oh. And okay. they just sent it, and it won. So they're like, whoa. That's Awesome. Kind of blown away, yeah. like everybody's kind of blown away by it, but they're like, I mean, they must, they know what they're doing, obviously, because, yeah. you know, that that is an award-winning beer right there. That's fantastic. It's fantastic. All right, so moving on, let's do the next beer. So the next beer is called a Helenor, and it's a Hell's Lager. Okay. So this is kind of right up our alley. Let me try it first. That's good. Yeah, it smells a little grainy. It smells a little... Uh, Definitely grainy. Light. Definitely light. Mm. It's very light. But it's it has a nice kind of like a crisp finish to it. Yeah. Makes it refreshing. Yeah, it is really refreshing. Like, I'm dripping all over the place. Sorry, guys. I'm getting a little bit of like biscuitiness to it. Yeah. Kind of yeah, that breadiness. That bread-like quality to it. Mm. Crisp. I like it. And it's only 5.3%. Good, good, uh, good, easy beer. Yeah, that's good. I like it. I'll give it a four. That's a really, I mean, Ditto. it's good. Definitely good. Well, let's uh, try the next beer. Sure. This is the Lunar Pills. I really like this space theme they have going on. Like, I'm yeah. a big, like, closet space nerd, so, like, <laughs> I really like all the space related stuff. Mm. Ooh, that's different. It, it definitely has that sort of pininess to it, but it's not as forward as I thought it might be. Which yeah, I'm not getting which a makes it like a, a more crisp. drinkable beer though. Yeah. To me, I like that. Sometimes with this whole IPA thing, I mean, it gets a little old. You know, my, my taste buds need a break. And beers like this, you know, oh, yeah, that's where definitely. these come in. Like these three come in. <laughs> so this is 5.1%. Another easy drinker. Yeah. 
I kind of dig that one. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and give that one a four. I like that honey, that like slight sweetness to it on the back. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Let me guess, more hops? Um, no, I think more of like that crisp with a pilsner. I should, you know, I like that crisp kind of like bite. Oh, bite it's a bite yeah. to it. That kind of, you know, you feel it on your tongue. I'm not getting a lot of that from this right. in particular. Um, I surprisingly got that more out of the Hell's Lager versus the Pills. So that's the Angry Alice IPA. That's one of their flagship beers. All right. Everything's super clear, though. Like, everything. Yeah, really, the clarity in these beers is, is very nice. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it is good, right? Definitely has that piney quality to it that you that you think of West Coast IPA, you associate with West Coast IPAs. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, that's really good. What hops does this one have in it? It has uh, Amarillo, Citra, and Simcoe. Okay. Coming in at a 7% beer. Mm. It's that's definitely good. good. I think I'm gonna blast off with a four on this one. Or it is. I'm impressed, actually, with the uh, with the IPA. All right, so the next one we have is also an IPA, and this is called the Angry Angry Alice. Yes, and it's now, a double IPA. Yeah, this one has Citra in it, which I know you love. And it has Mosaic in it, which I also oh, love. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, it smells like a, like a piney forest right up front. <laughs> Those are the best ones. Oh, yeah, damn, yep. So this is Woo. an 8.8% beer, almost that. That's that's a big beer. I 9% taste. region. It's got that crazy hop character to it. Not super bitter, but it's a lot more bitter than, than the Angry Alice is. What's crazy is I that, like, look so. at the color. Like, it's not even that much more, that much different. It's like a shade or two darker than the Angry Alice, but it has, like, a lot more body to I think, it. think, yeah, I mean, that the, the bitterness lingers a bit more with this double IPA. Okay, so where do you think you want to go with it? Um, I'm gonna have to give it a four and a half. Okay. I'm uh, I'm at a four on it, just because it's not like right up my alley. It's really good. It's a little too bitter for me, um, but people that love a hot bitterness in an IPA will like that one. It's super. Yeah. Good. This is uh, this is right up my alley. Going real fast too. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, we got one more. What's this guy? So that's called the Best Buddy, and this is actually um, a milk stout. Mm, yeah. It's at 5.3%. It has some, well, go ahead, try it. Not nitro. No, but they will be releasing it on nitro, so this will be released soon. Actually, it's a lot creamier than I thought it would be for not being on nitro. You can taste it. So there's that. some chocolate notes, a lot of barley, chocolate, and Lactose is that's has been really put in here. it's quite chocolatey. That's gonna be delicious on nitro. Oh man, yeah. It's already good on just regular carbonation. They should have entered this one too. This would have been good. really good. Probably would have won a medal. This beer is right at my alley. I, like in the winter time, this is the kind of beer that I really love to drink. Yeah. Lightweight, you know, you can still go out and, and like shovel snow or do whatever you gotta do, <laughs> walk the dog in our case. Yeah. Um, but it's it's not gonna weigh you down and it's definitely like got that robust, chocolatey, kind of desserty almost flavor to it. I like how they didn't go crazy and like put it in a rum barrel yet and like, yeah. you know, added vanilla and this and that. It's just hey, a well, straight up. Well, I mean, I like those too. Yeah, okay, let's I not mean, get it twisted. But yeah. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, it's nice to have the option to not, you know, go into that territory sometimes. Now they are gonna do variations on the stout and I think the next variation will have some of And that's great. I love variations, but keep this, just this as an option. Yeah, if that had some vanilla to it. Oh, eat, forget oh about God. it. Mm. Perfect. Chocolate and vanilla, or maybe they could do like a marshmallow infusion with this. Like a s'mores beer. That would be, yeah, like. that would be really good. Oh man, yeah. I'm gonna go four and a half on this one. I really like the taste out of this one. It's yeah, super that's good. Yeah, that's really good. You want some more? Yep. Yeah. Inhale. The smell is so <laughs> great. It's just like, a, it's like yeah. milk chocolate and coffee. That's what I'm getting at, it's so that good. That creaminess. Yeah, ditto, that's definitely a four and a half. Mm. That was really good. I didn't know what to expect, but everybody we knew saw, said that it was that Rocket Frog was awesome. 
Um, so highly recommend it. Yeah, definitely living up to those standards that we've heard. This is definitely a great brewery. That's it from us from Rocket Frog. We hope you had a great time watching the video. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell button to get notified when new videos come out. As always, stay crafty. Cheers. Hey guys, welcome back to another brew review. Andy and Sandra here again at Rocket Frog this weekend, and we're taking a look. It, it was gonna be cool, but then it yeah. wasn't. Yeah. I was like, hmm, that doesn't taste like it feels at all. It's a shitty sales. It's because it's the wrong beer. Duh. <laughs> The next one, I'm just gonna stand him up and be like, Ugh. <laughs> And then the last one, he's like, oh. Nice. Hopefully, it didn't land in one of our beers. Ow! Oh! My knee! I don't think he could stand. No, I don't think he can. Not on his own volition. Maybe if we put him on top of the beer? How are, we, how are we gonna do this, my man? Well, that's it from us from Rocket Frog. Okay, that's it from us from Rocket Frog. Okay, great, I got it. Ooh! That was my butt. How can he see us from in there? There's like this narrow gap. Yeah. He's like... <laughs> Are you guys done? All right, yeah, okay. Should I put him reversed? Oh, shit. Like, I feel Bleh. like I have to do that for you. Okay, now the outro. Where's the part? Part I always... Part I always f up. up. Maybe I just should have picked my nose on camera anyway. <laughs> oh, see, see, I knew there would be a party foul. See? You didn't break it, did you? No, no, it's okay, good. good. We create our own outtakes just by living. Okay, how's this look? Fine, what does mine look? Oh, jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, I don't know how to do it.